It's that time. New moon, new goals. Let's dive into this new moon in Scorpio. It is time for transformation and rebirth. This time might feel heavy, but know that you are magical. It's time to work with your magic. So let's take some time to get deep into the mind, body, and spirit. It's time to let go of any past hurts or grudges. I'm so excited to announce that my Manifesting with the Moon printed undated journal and goal workbook is officially on the market. So we're going to use this today and use this energy. So I'm going to walk you through how you can use this planner with this new moon. So I'm going to do it on my iPad so that you can see as I go. And so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to put the date. And so the date is November 13th, 2023. So the zodiac sign is Scorpio and 20 degrees. So I... I'm in the process of creating an interactive ebook so that you have all the moons, full moons, new moons, all the energy so that you can utilize this planner to the max. So it's going to be an interactive calendar. You can just click on the date and it will take you to that moon phase and all the things that you need to know about it. But the cool thing about this planner is looking into decoding what all this means, we have some cheat sheets of all the things that you need in the back. Because I love using the moon's energy, but I need a refresher every time I want to use it. So, okay, let's go to, so now we have to set an intention. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in this book and there's different intentions you can choose from. So ultimately, when you look at this, there's the breakdown and the intentions. And so everything in bold leaves you the opportunity to use that new moon intention. And so I am going to put, let's see, self-discovery. I feel like that's that feels resonant for me. And that's the purpose of using this is what's your energy? What do you feel like is coming up for you? for you to work on because we're all different. Our birth charts are different. The energy of the moon's different. I created this so that you can utilize your energy, that you can decide and empower you to be the best version. So for me, self-discovery feels really good. I'm going to go to the element and modality of Scorpio. Okay, so I go to my handy dandy key here. It's water and fixed. What does that mean? So, fixed is more about the builder, consistent energy, having patience. And water is about emotions, intuition, subconscious, and the nurturer. So, if you understand a little bit it helps you get more of the energy what you want to embody during this time so if any of that feels resonant write it down in the energy you want to embody but i'm going to look at scorpio and the energy when i have the broken down zodiac signs says that it is the determined alchemist Okay, so now is the time. Actually, before we get into the house and area of life, let's look at the float activity. Again, we got a chart back here to be able to use that to my advantage. And so the float activity of Scorpio, I'm going to do finance management. That seems resonant. Oops. I, I like the idea of strategic planning. I'm on such a roll with that right now that that feels good. But you know what? 
the whole purpose is, is if if my energy changes, then it changes. Okay, so the house and area of life. What you're going to do is you're going to pull up your chart. I'm going to pull up mine here. And I'm going to look at where 20 degrees Scorpio falls in my chart. So that's my fourth house. And that's going to point to maybe where energetically I have more influence with this moon. Fourth house is ultimately, for me, about foundations, family, home, roots. But again, we got a chart in the back that you can go to. And so for me, I'm going to do, I'm going to actually focus on more foundations and family. And then the last thing I'm going to do is what am I going to do for my ritual? Well, I like that there's water and a bath always feels good to me. So I am going to make sure that I do bath. I have a money hypnosis I made. So I'm going to do my money hypnosis, do some mindset work, and then whatever else comes. And so that's just the plug and play of what this energy is. It just helps me kind of work through where I want to use this new moon energy. And then there's some questions like, what are you grateful for? What are your desires? This is where you can really tap into what you really want to work through and what comes up for you around this moon. But from there, we go to the embody goal detail. And this is where if you're trying to work through your goals, you can use that new moon energy of doing your goals, but you don't have to. And so this is just the place where you break down your goals in a way that it's achievable for you. What's your goal? What is the feeling you want when you reach this goal? Making the toolkit to stay aligned with that desired feeling. The steps that you need to take. What are your motivations? What are you getting when you work towards this goal? And of course, the most important, how are you going to celebrate? This is just the aspect of the new moon. And then there's a new moon spread. So the questions that you can ask and then, you know, your intention, the zodiac and energy and the date. So it just helps you utilize the energy of the moon, but relaying it back to how it affects you personally. Now, in the beginning of this planner, it, it breaks down how you can use your embody goal setting and the different areas of life that you can work towards, the different desires and feelings that you want to have. I think this is a really good thing to do of make sure that you have a few different feelings that you want through the year. And then a wellness wheel. So if you're out of balance, if you are, you know, a 10 in some and a two in others, that might be the area of life you would want to work towards because you need to create more balance. So there's different things within this planner that are going to help you get in alignment with your goals and what you want. So that's just breaking down how to fill out every time there's a new moon, a full moon. What you need is in here minus the moon of what's currently happening. And then you'll be able to have that ebook to help you through to work through that. So tell me in the comments what house this energy of the new moon falls for you. And if you aren't ready to get the manifesting with the moon workbook, then you can get my free cheat sheets to help you decode what house and all that stuff fits for you. You can find that at karadempsey.com slash astro. I want to be able to give you all the tools and things that you need to ask the questions, do the journaling, pull your own cards. But if you want a collective reading for the community, that's what's happening next. Let's dive in. So the first question is, what energy will help you connect with your intuition? And it's knowing that you have this inner knowing. You have it. You have to trust it. And it should feel effortless. If you're giving yourself space every day for it to come through, it should feel effortless. Because if you are holding back or you feel indecision, there's going to be that hesitation. And it's going to lead to bad choices. So leaving space for your inner knowing to come through daily is going to help you cultivate that. 
because the negative thoughts are taking over your inner knowing. You have this like self-imposed restriction that's holding you back. So I think if you can work a little bit on your mindset and leave space for your intuition, practice, practice using it, you're going to you're going to be able to connect to it. But it's between the negative mindset and not having space in your daily activities to connect with it. What energy is going to help you connect with your intuition? And it's going on the fly. It's trusting that your speaking, your throat, when you talk about what you're really wanting to do, it's going to come through. It's going to have this activation. So using your voice is really important and finding the right collaborations. Okay, so we have the um, three of pentacles. So collaborations and teamwork is going to help you be able to build the things that you're wanting. So stop Stop thinking that you have to do it all yourself. This is really a time for you to lean with the foundations and the people around you that you've built. They're there for you for a reason. So what energy is going to help you embody your intentions? And it's surrendering to know that there is the promise of the future. If you envision it, if you desire it, it is meant for you. How do we get to it? How do we embody it? It's spending time to yourself. Like I was saying before, I think having that connection, that time for you to cultivate this inner knowing relationship is going to lead to that wealth, that King of Pentacles energy, that abundance, the prosperity, everything you desire is within you. Lean into that surrender. Know that the promise of the future is there for you and making sure that you leave time daily. This is something that you need to work on daily just right now. With this new moon energy, focus on cultivating this intuitive sense within you because it's powerful. I can feel this power. It's just, are you leaving space for it to come through? What energy is going to help you strategize? It's time. I feel this. Like deep in my soul, it is time for you. You have already cultivated what you need. Everything that you've needed on this journey, you have, okay? It's time to emerge and be able to strategize these visions, these goals that you're wanting to work towards because you have this ambition. You have this fast thinking and driven to succeed. I can just like feel it with the Knight of Swords. And because of it, it's public recognition. It's time. Like you're being called right now to step into that. So th- this reading is for someone really powerful. I can feel it. What energy is going to connect you with your higher alignment? And I love the cards that I pulled for this. This makes so much sense. Like I feel your energy. Childlike expression. What did your inner child feel like they were loved and seen? Do that. Dance. Go play outside. Walk around a store and pretend you could buy everything in it. I don't know what it takes to connect with your inner child because when you do that, you're going to have this harmony. You're going to feel this harmony that you've been working towards. Bringing your inner child into this is going to have this bridge. Inner child, you, your higher alignments, your future self. It's going to be this merge of harmony and create this synergy of being like, oh, I didn't realize I needed to recognize all these pieces of me. It's like finding the balance of, okay, my inner child needs this, my current self needs this, and my future self needs me to be this. And so it's finding all those pieces and connecting the dots for you to go after your goals. Like this is time. This is saying cultivate it. You need to get the visions out, write them down, create a vision board, whatever it is, like start building it because that public recognition that's coming out, like whatever you're thinking about when I'm talking, work towards it. I am feeling this new moon energy. I am ready to take action and I can tell from this reading you are too. Let me know in the comments where this new moon is affecting you in your chart 
And just remember that hitting the like button, leaving a comment, sharing my content, you're not just supporting my channel, you're actively contributing to the flow of the seven universal laws. Together, we are cultivating a vibrant flowing stream of wisdom and positivity. So keep riding this cosmic current with me. Keep sharing the love. And until our next rendezvous, stay true to your unique flow. See you in the next adventure.